Hey church, my name is Derek. Um, alongside my wife, we are regional pastors in our Manchester Central campus. Um, today I get the privilege of sharing a devotion with you. Uh, my prayer as we um, as we go through this devotion that you will find some encouragement in it um, and that the Holy Spirit will use it to minister to you at whatever point or wherever you are finding yourself watching this or reading this devotion. Um, I'm going to talk today about, obviously, the theme for our term has been on relationships. Um, specifically, I'm going to be um, talking to you about community um, and how we can find relationships through our community. Um, I'm going to focus on Mark chapter 2. Um, so we, in Mark chapter 2, we find the story of four friends um, and their paralysed friend. Um, we see the friends are desperate to get their man to Jesus so that he can receive his healing. Um, they want to, they, they've heard the rumours, they've heard the stories of this man who can um, heal. So they want to get their friend into that place. But um, it's not as it's, it's difficult as they carried um, their friend on the mat to Jesus. Um, we don't know how far they have to had, they had to carry him, what the journey was, but we can surmise that it would, it would have been a pretty lengthy journey. But the friends were determined regardless um, to see their friend being healed by Jesus. Um, the streets would have been crowded with people. Um, the house where Jesus was preaching that was packed. Um, one friend had this crazy idea. Hey, um, we want to get see our friend get healed. Let's lower our friend down through the roof. And that's exactly what they did. Um, they dug a hole um, into the mud covered roof and they lowered their friend directly into the presence of God. Um, they were committed, no matter the hardship, you know, they really wanted to see their friend receive his healing. Um, and that's what happens in community. Um, life can be hard, it's overwhelming and complicated, but doing life together means we're living in a community committed to carrying each other's mats, just like these friends did for their, um, these, these four guys did for their friend. Um, in community, we do the hard work, um, we hold each other accountable, um, we ask the tough questions, we challenge each other, we, we pray together, we worship together. Um, in uh, 1 Thessalonians 5.11, it says that, you know, therefore, encourage one another and build up one another. Our ultimate end goal is to become more like, is to, is to become more Christ-like. Um, so to do that, we encourage each other, we worship with each other, we pray with each other, um, no matter what the hardship is, no matter what the map um, we need to carry our friends or the people around us in our world on, we need to push through and persevere. Um, to see the people around us being saved, being healed, receiving their deliverance. So throughout life, our personal mats are filled with heavy things, you know, things like anxiety, depressions, addictions, alcohol, etc. You know, we are all carrying something. Um, one, one statement that I've heard quite a lot repeated so many times is like, you know, you you don't know um, you don't know what people are carrying as they're walking down the street. So you be the Jesus they need to see. Um, you be the last Jesus someone needs to see. Let people in your community see Jesus through your life. Um, and part of that is having that compassion to um, see the people around us being saved and being delivered through the power of Jesus Christ. Um, we're all carrying something, um, but we shouldn't have to do it alone. Um, being alone leads to a heavier load. Um, and darkness. In a community, we're committed to carrying each other's mats. Um, the beauty of doing that is in a community is that we confess our burdens to each other and we feel a weight being lifted from our shoulders as if our friends and people around us, you know, hold hands with us and put their arms around our shoulders and say, hey, I'm with you. Um, it may not be, it may not need to be a lot, but it's the fact, the gesture of I'm standing with you, um, I'm interceding for you, I'm praying for you. That's what community looks like. Uh, in um, in Galatians six chapter two, it says, "You know, carry each other's burdens, and in the way, and in this way, you will fulfill the law of Christ." Um, so essentially, we're carrying each other's mats to experience freedom through Christ, um, and that's like I mentioned before. That's our ultimate goal: to be more Christ-like um, and to live in a community, um, and to be in a community that is focused on being more Christ-like. Um, so that's my quick devotion for you today. Um, I'm praying that it's encouraged you in some small way. Um, as you go about your day, whatever you get up to, um, my prayer is that God will continue to speak through you, through these words, um, and we shall hear great and mighty testimonies of all that God is doing in each, of, in each and everybody's lives in their communities. In Jesus' name, um, amen. Have a great day, church. I hope that was encouraging. Take care.